Hello everybody, Joel Hansen here, and today we are here at Ballpark Pizza Team, your Ballpark Pizza to do their big team pizza challenge. Here my good friend, Mr. Heavy D, we also have my good friend, Mr. Blaine. I have a wet shoe right now, if you want to know why I have a wet shoe, tune into the rest of the video. But at that, so this is a massive pizza challenge, 42 uh, pounds, 42 pounds no, it's not. Uh, you do have a partner or you can do it solo if you want to you have one hour to eat it um, if you complete it you get hundred dollars cash which is really cool pizza is fifty dollars about fifty five fifty fifty dollars otherwise and um, yeah so I'll tell it in see what we can do we're just gonna have some fun I've had a lot of pizza recently but it's great to food hopefully win some cash welcome to Los or Los Vieos or somewhere in California. Anyway, let's go. So here we are, we have the massive ballpark pizza challenge. Looks really good. 46 pounds. <laughs> it is 70 slices though. Um, so essentially I went with quarter bacon, quarter cheese. I went all cheese. Cheese is mandatory, unfortunately. Um, and all <laughs> cheese over here. So we have one hour to complete this. I don't know if there's a record, I'm just gonna do it again and uh, let's see what happens. D, you ready to do some eating? I'm ready to do some eating. I got my best, finest evening wear on. And I look like a rugby player today. I was told California is a very classy state, so I had to bring my Sunday night. Well, let's get started. I don't know if, uh, well, it starts when we take a bite. So, I guess five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> I hurt my mouth yesterday, so safety first. You gotta look after yourself here, buddy. Now we're protected. Always use protection kit. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. It's today we are in Mission Viejo, California, which is about an hour south and a little bit east of Los Angeles, California. So for this challenge, first check out Blaine. He's quite the guy, I will say. Um, we had what was one hour to complete this 11 pound pizza. So you gotta pick your toppings. No toppings but cheese were mandatory. Um, I wanted to put a little bit of bacon on one of my on my quarter just to kind of you know add a little bit of flavor, switch things up. But again, you only had to go with cheese. Um, I did not know if there was a record or anything going into this, and there was a few individuals who've done this solo in the past, uh, such as Molly Schuyler, um, Brandon the Garbage Disposal Clark, uh, Magic Mikey. Um, so that was something which didn't do today because there's a couple other challenges I wanted to get to. But you know, I mean, hey, who knows for the future? You're about three minutes in. Everything's going well. We're almost half done. It's not bad. It tastes really good. And that's definitely true. So I'm not the biggest pizza person, but I really liked this pizza because it was like very soft. Um, it was not overcooked. I don't really enjoy overcooked pizzas, but it was not overcooked. It just very, very soft, getting kind of a thinner crust or dough. Um, I very much often speak to how I enjoy a thinner dough, a thinner crust pizza. And that's exactly what this was. A thinner, a thinner, not thin, but thinner crust pizza and soft which was really good. Again, I'm honestly not a pizza fan, but there are times like this where I look at this, I have such positive memories, and I was like, you know what? That was good. I enjoyed that. I would, in fact, enjoy eating that pizza again. Five minutes in, we got the nice sugar on. I like the bacon on pizza. It was also on this trip that I realized that I like bacon on pizza, and actually I think it's probably now my favorite topping. So if you've never had bacon on pizza, I'd definitely recommend it. I just love like the savoriness, the saltiness that it adds. Not that pizza is usually not salty enough, but that bacon, mmm, delicious. So definitely you're gonna be seeing bacon on my future pizzas. Um, you also might be noticed I'm wearing a Long Beach rugby shirt. No, I don't play rugby, and I've definitely never played it in Long Beach. Um, this was from my friend Blaine. Uh, the coach of the rugby team wanted to give me a shirt, so of course I told them well, I'd rock it, wear it out. It's a nice shirt, actually. It's very, very comfortable, like weather wicking. So, yeah. We're about seven minutes in. We only have 53 minutes left. 
tastes really good though. I also definitely need to comment on how awesome the staff were. Um, I don't recall the lady's name, but she's definitely some sort of a manager or an owner. Um, you hear her kind of uh, throughout the video. Um, she was really, really cool and supportive of the challenges. Restaurants which are supportive of food challenges make the experience so much better. Um, not only again were they caring to us providing we have everything we need but also just ensuring you know well uh, let's say aiding to the experience and encouraging us you know they're they're not there to just see people lose but they're there for the fun the experience um, to what you know food challenges ultimately are they're definitely unique events unique experiences and I mean they're a great form of not only publicity revenue but just general you know I'd say entertainment for the average you know individuals there's actually a table of like 20 people sitting uh, across from us just basically talking about man versus food because we're there doing this pizza challenge. Not to mention, still doing well. But at that, everybody, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy. Um, let's see if we can finish up this pizza and definitely, definitely check out the end of this video. There are some amazing and hilarious clips, um, not only of our trip, kind of behind the scenes, but Long Beach. Long Beach was the uh, destination chosen by my by you guys there. Um, I kind of did a contest around Christmas saying, pick where I go in the world. And ultimately, Long Beach was the chosen area, so that's how I ended up here. So some footage of Long Beach. So that everybody, let you enjoy the rest of the video and uh, let's see what happens. We're about 16 and a half minutes in. Mr. Derek just finished up his last slice there. Pizza, very much enjoyed it. it cooked perfectly, which helps a lot. Oh, look at this, look at this. Looks like we got some, we're getting teased with some cash dollars right there. I see what's going on here. We'll say that's a nice level of encouragement. Derek, keep it up my friend, and uh, soon we'll have that win. Really appreciate it. For winning, we do get $100 cash, which is absolutely excellent. 
apparently we could come back and try to solo it one day, so that's very a nice invitation as well. So everybody, thank you for watching, really appreciate it. Huge thanks Mr. Derek for coming and doing this challenge with me. Definitely would recommend Ballpark Pizza. The team here is great. It's sauce called Ballpark great. Pizza Team. Yeah, sauce is great, pizza is good, the environment, everything's great. So that everybody, until next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Watch me fall and die. We'll do the challenges for your honor. Yeah. Mr. Heavy D, sign of the name. <laughs> Don't fall. The Adventures of Heavy D. Dope. All right, peace. Everybody, and we are in Long Beach, California. Look at this. There's an orange tree. How the hell do you have an orange tree? What the heck? It's crazy. I've never seen an orange tree in my life. And look, look at the squirrels. The squirrels look really weird in Long Beach. Hi, squirrel. Hi. Big squirrels. Yeah, so weird squirrels in California. Freaking orange trees. Anyway, pretty cool. Great way to start the morning. Uh, love my hair. You can tell I just got up, but hell right, everybody. So this is Long Beach. Shout out to all y'all, we're down here because of you guys said you wanted me to be here, and here we are. Long Beach, California, land of orange trees, and big weird squirrels. Let's have some fun. So, orange tree, because you know, fresh oranges and all that stuff. So apparently these are not in season, but look, I literally just picked an orange off of a tree. Let's just try it. Wait, hold on. Let's get some music going. I think we need music to try this orange. Cause I mean, when you're in California, you gotta listen to some California, eh? Hey. Better. It's not right. Long Beach! <laughs> it's Long Beach, Naples, Naples Island. Now we're off Oh, no, <laughs> just Long Beach. Hit this guy too. The new Sunny 98.1. I love the 80s. San Diego's greatest hits. Those are my clubbing days. San Diego, we're not even in San Diego. Yeah. Oh, this is a fucking good song though, boys. Do you know this song? How will I know that he really loves me? Great. Is it really? Did it sink? It did not. That is Titanic. Yes. That is shame. Just look at it. Just look at the streets of Long Beach, California. Just look at beauty of California this palm a, tree. This was a hood five years ago. Is it possible we can go down here real quick? And like, yeah, you can go down there. Like, can we park and like get out real quick? Around? Yeah, there's a parking lot. Do you, do you want to be down that girl? Oh yeah. Look at the prettiness of Long Beach, California. Look, that is Derek. Hello, Heavy D. Hey, everybody. On Long Beach. Columbus Dock right here. He discovered... Hello, so here we are on Long Beach, California. It's very beautiful down here. Look at all this nice palm tree. It looks just like movie. It's exactly what I think of California when I come and look up at the California. There is beach. Look. Yeah, look at how nice, nice beach. There is oil things out in the water. Apparently those fake palm trees. I'm here with good friends. We have Mr. Blaine, who is local man to Long Beach, California. Hello. Hello. Long Beach. And then we have Mr. Heavy D, who is not local to Long Beach, California. But it's very well, nice down we here. We Holiday Inn last night. We're at the Hotel Motel Holiday Inn. It's very <laughs> nice. So, very good, everybody. And I talk to you again soon. Very good. Yes, Long Beach, California.
So now we're going down to the water because I have to see how warm this water is in January in California. Um, Blaine, who's a local, thinks it would be very cold, but I'm curious because it's still really warm. So let's see how cold this actually is. I'm just gonna touch it because I got shoes on. Come on, water. Come to me. Water, come to me. Come, come to me, water. <laughs> Fudge. Oh man. My foot got soaked. Now my shoes are soaked. Damn it. Oh well. I will be eating next challenge barefoot. Yeah. Oh well, I mean, it, it actually it's actually pretty warm. Hold on, let's try this again. All right, I just touched it. Yeah, that's it's actually super warm. That's like as warm as oceans get in Canada in the summertime. Damn it, now my shoes are wet. Anyway, I'm glad I got that on camera at least. Do you know the honest truth? I don't understand why people like pizza. Okay. I don't like it at all, man. Blaine's wearing a tank top, so I mean, he can obviously tell us what it is.